Good morning. My name is David Swartley. I'm the president and CEO of Moravia Manor Communities. At the time of this recording, we've had no positive cases of COVID-19 in our building, for which we are very grateful. I sent out my first written update on March 2nd. On March 9, we started restricting all visitors to one entrance. On Saturday, March 14th, we restricted all visitors from our Founders Campus, and we began taking temperatures of everyone entering our facility. On March 17th, we restricted our dining venues to take out only. On March 27, at 8 p.m., Governor Wolf issued a stay-at-home order. On April 10th, I appealed to everyone to toe the line over the holiday weekend. It's hard to imagine how much has changed in the last seven weeks. I would like to thank everyone at Moravia Manor Communities for your efforts to comply with the guidance from the Center for Disease Control, the Pennsylvania Department of Health, and Governor Wolf. We successfully navigated the holiday weekend. Thank you. Some were celebrating Good Friday and Easter, others celebrated Passover. Social distancing during special religious holidays is very difficult and quite frankly, can be quite painful. I want to thank our resident family and members who towed the line and stayed away during the holiday. I recapped our timeline to start today's update. As the timeline stretches out, it becomes more and more challenging to adhere to stay at the home order. It's difficult to imagine what it must be like not to visit with mom or dad for weeks. I commend all of you and thank you for your commitment to the health of the entire community. How do we move forward? Most likely within the next month, we will see gradual reopening of businesses and services. At the same time, we serve the most vulnerable individuals. We will see the Department of Health and the CDC continue to offer restrictive guidance for our care areas. These plans will become clear as we move into the coming weeks. I have very much appreciated our resident association meetings held via Zoom. This past week, we had close to 120 folks logged into the call, probably over 150 residents in total. Thank you for your participation. I also want to thank you all and express my gratitude for a resident-driven initiative to offer the COVID-19 May Day Appreciation Fund Drive for our staff. The fundraiser has more meaning than just monetary. Lifting our team during these difficult times is a sign of health, both individually and as a community. Also, many of our residents posted signs in their windows expressing support for our team. Thank you. Displayed on your screen is a slide that our pastor used this weekend in his online message. Who do I want to be during the COVID-19 crisis? The chart shows three zones, the fear zone, the learning zone, and the growth zone. Take a closer look at this slide. Where do you fall on this slide? Hopefully, if you're in the fear zone, you can find a way to move further to the right on the slide. How we have reacted to the COVID-19 scenario is so different for each one of us. Let me share a personal example. I'm a collector with sentimental attachments to things. My wife, Shelby, is not. I have a stamp collection, I have a baseball card collection, I have an old postcard collection, among other things. I've even saved my parents' old paraphernalia, including pottery, old furnishings, and all kinds of stuff. The majority of these things are economically worthless, but hold great memories to somebody like me. With nowhere to go and plenty of energy to spare, Shelby is going through our basement storage areas. Quite frankly, this has put the fear of God into me. Many heirlooms will be making their way to the local thrift store shortly. Also moving out of our house soon is, are my old cassette tapes, my whole collection. Boston, second chapter of Acts, Pachelbel. So long, my dear friends. I hope you find a wonderful home. On Saturday, she kept showing up with more boxes of stuff to get rid of, and at one point I asked her, is there any chance that I could end up on the shelf at Community Aid? I don't really think I received an answer from her to that very profound and important question. You get the point. During times of stress, our personality traits tend to become more and more exaggerated. 
However, is this not also a time of opportunity? In a recent article by Julio Gambuto, he states the following. Well, the treadmill you've been on for decades just stopped. Bam! That's that feeling you have right now is the same as if you've been thrown off your Peloton bike and into the ground. What happened is incredible. It's that greatest gift ever, unwrapped. Not the deaths, not the virus, but the great pause. In a word, profound. Stay strong, be well, focus on the gift of the great pause. Thank you for your work in making Moravian Manor communities a safe and wonderful place to live and to work.